Good evening. Tonight, I'm going to teach you how to draw a caricature using a proportion formula that even the novice artist should be able to draw an accurate looking caricature when using this. Here, I have the picture that I'm going to draw. It is going to be Charlie Brown. Normally, all drawings are done in pencil. But so that you can see it, tonight I will be using a magic marker and using the formula of proportion which I'm going to teach you. Here is the proportion formula. You will start with the head. You draw a nice round sphere, sphere, which you can use a bowl or something else because Charlie Brown has such a round head. Once you have that drawn, you come up top and you draw a little, for each picture on the face, you draw a line to keep everything in proportion. That's why it's the proportion formula. Right here is going to be for his puppy hair. This is the line where his eyes are going to be. This is a line through the middle where his ears are supposed to go. And this is a line drawn for his mouth. Next, you, you come all the way down and draw a line for the entire length of your cartoon character. Then you mark the middle and the end so that you can keep the proportion of the drawing between here and here correct, and between the middle and the hand correct. So now we're going to come over and we're going to draw our cartoon character of Charlie Brown. So first you start with the head, and you're going to draw a nice round ear. As you're drawing, keep in mind, make your lines as curvy or as straight as it requires. There is the head. Next, I'm going to come down here and see how I've got my proportion lines on through the middle of the face to keep all the features that belong in the center in the center of the drawing. I have a line drawn across here for the hair, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to position my hair right in the middle across that line. Next, we're going to come down and we're going to do the eyes. I have a line drawn here for the eyes, so I've got it all nice and lined up. And I'm just going to color in two small circles where the line is. Next, the nose is in the middle of the line. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw Charlie Brown's nose right across the middle of that line. Next, I'm going to come directly above the eyes and draw a small line for eyebrows. Next, across this middle line, I'm going to draw the ears here and draw the other ear. See how nice and proportion that is? Using these lines that can be erased later. Next I'm going to come down to my, my mouth line, which is across the bottom. And making sure that I have my angle of my mouth just touching this bottom line, I'm going to draw Charlie Brown's mouth. Next I'm going to come down to the neck and I'm going to draw two small lines. I have my middle line across here so keeping in, keeping in mind of what to draw between the bottom of the head and this middle line, I'm going to fill in the features of the cartoon character from the chin to the middle line. I'm going to come down and looking at this, I'm going to draw my arm and I'm going to end it right there. And I'm going to come to the other side. Keeping in mind this middle line is my reference point, I'm going to draw the other arm. Then I'm going to look inside and check out my line, and, and I'm going to draw the rest of the shirt. The reason I know the length of the shirt is because I'm drawing it in proportion to my middle line. I'm going to come across the bottom, very simple, and then back up the other side of the shirt. Next, I'm going to do the right sleeve. Come in a little bit in line with my middle line so I know how far to come in and then I'm going to angle it up. Next I will draw the hand on the left side. And now I will come and draw the right hand. Noticing he's only got three fingers showing. There. Now I will come back up to the top and finish the collar of my shirt. And then I will draw the stripe on Charlie Brown's shirt. And the stripe, coincidentally, runs right across the middle line that I have drawn. So now we will draw the stripe. See how 
see how nice and proportioned all of this is turning out. Next, I come down and I will draw his short. And then we come down to the leg. I have my ending line here, so keep it in, in mind where my ending line is and how long his legs have to be. I can keep each feature in proportion because I have the bottom line. So I'm drawing his little leg. And now I squiggly line for the sock. And then I draw the sock. Just a simple little line. Now. With keeping in mind my bottom line down here, I'm going to make the shoes in proportion to the rest of the body. Making sure not to go over my bottom line. Just like that. And the other one. Okay, so now we have shoes. Now I will draw the line for a sock. Sock in the middle. Then a couple of crisscrosses for laces and a bow. Little crisscrosses for the laces and a bow. And proportionally, I have a complete caricature of Charlie Brown. Now you can go back and color it with magic markers or paint it uh, and, uh, and include your own special little antidote and give it someone you love on a special occasion.